and we're back guys tennis in a minute i'm your host good energy back in the swing of things took a little bit of a break ran a marathon i feel great and now let's get back to tennis we're in china at the elite trophy and look this draw is pretty good guys of course we're looking forward to cancun but hey this is what we have so far a little rusty here right uh the last couple tournaments we went 21 out of 27 in picks and yesterday one for three so we took madison keys and beatrice said dad to go over the first set eight and a half i thought madison keys should and could have won the first set but it just comes down to look beatrice is a little more consistent with their shot making we know madison keys has that rocket of a forehand but sometimes she can't she can't find her range and she makes a lot of mistakes and that's what happened yesterday beatrice won the match outright as an underdog now remember and madison keys i mean if we take a look at how she played guys four double faults she beat herself five aces from beatrice to dad now madison won about 68 percent of her first serves the big opportunity beatrice exploited was the second serve of maddie where she won 60 percent of those pressured keys i mean both ladies had a ton of break points but it just came down to really the second serve and madison keys i mean look six four six four that's literally one mistake in a service game uh good match there guys but the big upset on the day and look i said it <laughs> i said this will probably be an upset because look there's no reason kuda matova should have been a five to one underdog i mean sorry five to one favorite and sure enough it was an upset outright lin Zhu the impressive shot maker and look i told you that draw was going to be very interesting because you have players like lin zu that can make shots and then you have players like kuda matova where look i said she's going to need to win the first set she does not play well from behind lately you can see the stress in her camp and look lin zu had seven double faults and still won this match are you kidding me but veronica had four double falls she did have four aces she averages about five aces but veronica could not get her first serves in play less than 50 percent of her first serves in play she lost unforced errors from veronica kudamatova that's not going to get it done i mean lin Zhu only had 13 errors lin Zhu doesn't make a lot of errors because she's a good shot maker between the lines she wins guys the fans of china they have something to cheer about five to one favorite veronica kudamatova big payday now i told you guys she's probably not gonna win it i mean with a loss like that she's going to have to win her next two matches in this draw and get some help so if Lindsay wins at least one of her next two matches she should make the semifinals. so that's pretty interesting now the other match on the day barbara kachikova now babora got the victory over magda lanette this schedule came out late but i would have had Barbora in this matchup. Now, Barbora's not serving well. Nine double faults, guys. She looked horrible with her serve, but Lynette couldn't win any of those points, guys. Lynette literally let Barbora win 81% of her first serves. Lynette did attack the second serve because Barbora was committing a lot of faults and double faults, but Lynette just had a horrible day, guys. 24 winners from Barbora, and at one point, I mean, Barbora literally could not lose a break point that's right magda had 10 opportunities to break barbora she only converted on one of them and that was the big difference in this match here barbora a good shot maker she just made shots when she needed to step up and lynette had no answer for it lynette poof. it's gonna be tough for her to win this tournament now or at least make the semifinals. barbora you have to put her on the radar to win it she's the number one seed she's probably the best shot maker here good wide serve and volley good mid-range game i say it all the time her angles are underrated barbara might win this tournament and look she's a competitor she said a couple of years ago look i'm tired of people thinking that I'm, I, I'm just a doubles player you know she said she wants to be a good singles player and with a little bit more consistency i think she's there she is a top 10 player i think on tour currently of course she is now in the rankings but i think with this level of competition on the tour i think barbora is a top 10 player all right and we have barbora taking on dasha now as you can see here barbora has dominated this head-to-head -head matchup and you know most people would probably pick barbora to win this match 
And look, rightfully so. I mean, when you've played so uh, they recently played last week at Zing Zhao where Barbora gave Dasha a bagel in the second round. Before that, they played at uh, Dubai. That went three sets. And they played at the Adelaide 2 where that went two sets. And Dasha won that. Now, the fact that she recently gave Dasha a bagel, that says a lot. But we all know Dasha is... She's a long rally player. Dasha literally, in my opinion, she's going to have the better stamina. And she's going to be a little bit more athletic than Barbora. Barbora having played last night and made a ton of mistakes. She gave up 10 breakpoint opportunities to Lynette. And that's never a good thing. Uh, I'm going to go with the fresh player here. We're going to take Dash. I think Daria could win this match outright. Getting Barbora on a back-to-back -back where she made a ton of mistakes... It's possible Dasha could win this match outright, but I like plus two games in the first set, and I like the first set over eight and a half. And next up, we have Maddie Patty taking on Carolyn Garcia. Now, Carolyn Garcia, I think she's playing better as of late, and um, she's taking on someone she's never beat before, guys. This is bad, very bad. Uh, they played five times. Madison Keys has won four of them. And they've played once this year at Dubai, where that went uh, that went over 21 games, two sets. Madison Keys got the victory. Madison Keys also beat Garcia last year at the French Open, and anything you know before that's older data. Garcia's lost two in a row. Uh, she's lost in Zhang Zhao. She lost to Iga, went three, and she lost to Jasmine Polini, went three. Uh, Beijing, she played Iga and lost in three, and Zhang Zhao, she played Polini and lost in three. Keys is on a three-match skid, right? She hasn't been active since the U.S. Open. And much like the previous matchup with Dasha and Krachikova, we see a one-sided matchup. Madison Keys is probably going to come into this matchup being feeling confident. Madison made... She made quite a few mistakes against Beatrice Haddad last time out. And Carolyn Garcia, she's rested. We all know Carolyn Garcia. Madison Keys last time out made 24 unforced errors. If she makes anywhere near that, I don't think she's going to win the match. Uh, I do like Carolyn Garcia to win a set in this match. Uh, I think that's a very good value. And I do think Carolyn Garcia can win this match outright. I do. I think Garcia can beat Keys outright. Keys did not look good last time out with all those mistakes. Uh, but I like Carolyn Garcia to win a set. So if she wins a set, then that also means we we have to take her on a spread because the chances are if she if she wins a set, she's going to cover the spread as well. I don't know what the spread is, guys, but um, I don't even know what the, the odds is for Carolyn to win a set, but I'm pretty sure it's good. That's the pick. I like Carolyn Garcia to win a set, and then uh, we'll take Carolyn Garcia with some free games. How about uh, four and a half free games? Those are the two picks there, guys. What's next? Donna Vekic and Queen Win Zhang. This is going to be a good match, guys. Queen Win's a big favorite here. Yeah, I, I don't know why Queen Win's a big favorite. Now, I do think uh, Queen Win, she is a 7 seed. Donna's a 10 seed. Now, if you guys watch ba basketball, the NCAA, the 7th and 10th seed, there's always an upset in March Madness. The 10th seed normally beats a 7 seed. Uh, have these two ladies played? I think they played once. Donna Vekic owns a head-to-head -head that was on, I think it was a lower-level tournament when Donna was rebounding, making her way back to the main tour. Queen wins a much better player than the last time they beat. Um, the Greek goddess, Anne Helena, Jasmine Polina, Barbora Kachikova. You beat Barbora, you can beat Donna. Now, Donna's, she's rusty. She's only won three of her last ten matches. Going back to Cincinnati, Jennifer Brady, Victoria Azarenka. And uh, Neha Binu. And, uh, now, I, I don't really like Donna Vekic. I don't like her movement. She wants to get to the backhand, the power, the powerful forehand. I do think Vekic is a lot more powerful than Queen Wynn, But Queen Wynn loves to stretch the court. And I think that's where Donna's going to run into issues here with Queen Wynn stretching the court. I just, I don't like her movement. She, she is working on her movement. But you can kind of stretch her wide. Uh, but then again, I don't like Queen Wynn being a 4-1 to favorite in this match. I think all values on Donna Vekic uh, because... Queen wins such a huge favorite. That means Donna Vekic is going to be getting three games in the first set. So I do like Donna Vekic getting 
the three free power when you're that strong you could literally dictate the temple with your power and just make you know put queen one on the defensive that's really you know all it takes so uh we'll take down a Vekic plus three games in the first set can she win the first set i think she can she probably she probably can but i like the plus three games in the first set and i like the second set over eight and a half uh once donna gets warmed up you know she's a fighter and, you know i think being a veteran she'll she'll recognize what queen wins doing early on in the first set and i think the second set if she is down or happens to lose the the first set she'll make those adjustments so donna Vek, it's plus three games in the first set and then um i like the second set over eight and a half do i think donna can win the match again i i do think donna can beat queen win and um i think queen wins completely overvalued seven seed ten seed uh, Donna deserves a little bit more respect than that. Tennis in a minute. Those are the picks. Like the video. Show some love. We'll be back. Now, there's also matches in Tampico. That's that's a good looking draw. But listen, I'm seeing a lot of things. Like, for example, I'm seeing friends play each other. You know, one had a great season and really not playing for anything at this point in the season. The season's over. There's no points to gain. And I'm seeing the other friend having a bad season. And I'm seeing players just not give effort and look i watch enough tennis to know when you know someone's being thrown an alley-oop there but nonetheless there are some good matches in tempico i like isla tomjanovic a swago that's going to be good uh, i like dohide lehev and um look Haley baptiste got the victory there kaylee volleynitz is in action emiliana arango there's some good matches i may cover it but guys like the video show some love we'll be right back tennis in a minute cancun next week.